Alright, welcome back to Twelve and Trench Coat. I'm Midhearts3, and today we are back in Dragon Age Origins. So, last time we went through the Basilian Forest, we encountered the werewolves for the first time. Um, I got run down by a werewolf. Or a wolf. So, there's that. We either picked a side dealing with the Mad Hermit, or the Grand Oak, or just leaving them both be. So when I say picked sides, there's a, um, what I didn't mention in the last episode is that you can, there's technically picking a side. So I was working with the Grand Oak, so I brought back the acorn without killing the Hermit. But the other side is to work with the Hermit, and kill the Grand Oak so he can stop harassing the Hermit about his acorn that he wants back. I decided to work with the Grand Oak. Either way, I don't have to kill both. I don't have to kill either of them. The Hermit is very difficult in a fight. I know he spawns Shades or Rage Demons to fight alongside him, and they're pretty powerful on their own. So just best bet is just to... Not fight him if you don't have to. I mean, you could for the experience points if you want. But, yeah. Oh, if you do f side with the hermit, he will enchant one of the werewolf pelts that you've probably been picking up. Like, you're killing werewolves, so you're picking up the werewolf pelts. He'll enchant one of them, so it'll trick the forest into thinking that you're a werewolf, so you can pass through the magical barrier. But if you do that, and you have more than one werewolf pelt, he will enchant all of them and collapse them into one. So, best bet is to sell them to Varathorn back at the Dalish camp before you have one enchanted to trick the forest and pass through the barrier if you want to work with the Hermit. Also, what I also forgot to mention was... Two thing I know I talked about one thing that he had, which was the Grand A the Grand Oak Acorn. There's another there's two other things that he has. Um, one is the ancient elven helm. And I'm trying to Oh, the Ancient Elven Helm and then a book, which is the Codex entry for the Archons of the Imperium. And it would be likely it should, it's important, not important, but you should get that if you want it in your codex entries. And what you could trade for it is Athos's pendant. So after you finish the quest for him by recovering something or bringing him news of Denial, he'll give you the pendant and you can bring that pendant back. It only has plus 4% to spirit resistance, if I'm remembering correctly. Hold on. I'm going to give false information. Okay, so it gives 4% to spirit resistance. If you're not interested in spirit resistance, then definitely hand over that pendant to get the elven, the ancient elven helm or the book. Or you can hand over, I totally forgot, the tale of Eloren that you get from Cayman. It's not important at all, so you can definitely trade it in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not particularly interested in helmets. If you hadn't seen Half of us don't wear helmets. I mean, helmets are important, but, you know. There's also Dagon's boots, if you looted them from him. Um, the hollow horn. The hollow horn is actually if you lie to Laura enough times and then convinced her to put the hollow out of its misery, she gives you... Either she gives you the horn of the hollow, or you can just pick it up from Varathorn. Either way, it's crafted from Varathorn, and he'll give you the hollow horn necklace. And then there's the scarf if you don't feel like handing it over to Atheris. And then there's a songbook, but you have to steal that from the chest that's behind Lanaya, which is Sathrian's first. But be careful with that because that will give you disapproval with the Dalish camp and you probably don't want to do that. Okay, but about the ancient elven helm... It's an actually pretty nice looking helm. You're just going to take my word for it. But it requires 22 strength. It has an armor of 1.60, fatigue of 1.72%, and the stats are plus 25 to spirit resistance. 
Uh, this metal helm of, of the metal of this helm was forged into organic vine and leaf shapes when equipped in a set of ancient elven, elven armor, gloves, and boots, the character gained a bonus to defense. So if you have other ancient elven armor sets, then this helm would be for you, and you can find it at the Hermit by turning over one of those items. Okay, but that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get that book. I'm going to give him the book and then get another book. It's just, he's just being a librarian at the moment. So, uh, Hermit. Oh, you've done it now. You've surely done it now. <laughs> I don't have... Okay, I'm probably on the wrong... thing? I don't have the ring on my person. Let me see that real quick. I'm going to look at this tree. Yeah, see? Okay, so I think talking... Not talking. I think going through the barrier kicked it into if, like, me siding with the Grand Oak, so he won't talk to me anymore. So if you want to get the book and you want to get the Ancient Elven Helm, do so before going through the barrier. Because then you'll be stuck and he won't talk to you. Okay, so reverting to save and then going to talk to him because I want that book. I want that Codex entry. So we're going to talk to him before proceeding through again. And also, I totally forgot that about that tombstone that's near the Grand Oak. We're going to deal with that as well before we go in there. So, Hermit, are you going to talk to me now? Or are you still pissed? What's this now? You again? Why don't you go away? I'm awfully persistent. Okay, so do you want to ask me... Another question? May I? Oh yes, I think I might. Hmm. Where were you born? Born on my family estate in the north. Hmm. So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long, but I will see through it yet. Mark my words. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Do you have anything to trade? Oh, yes. Yes. I still have that old helmet and the book. <laughs> okay. Mm. I want to trade for the book. And what do you have to trade for the book? How about this book on elven history? Elven history, you say? Hmm. That might make for good reading by the moonlight. Or it'll be better than using leaves. Give me that. There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? Nothing. I should go. Oh, I see. You're going to report to them now, are you? Fine. Goodbye. Archons of the Imperium. Cool. Alright. So that is done, and we got that book out of our inventory. It serves no purpose, so giving it to the, the Mad Hermit just... It's alright. You can just turn that book in. But I do not feel comfortable turning in that that scarf okay before we head over there i'm gonna go deal with that tombstone all right now that we've gotten the quest we can now do something about this all right this is a tombstone of a tevinter general the epitaph makes it clear that this that his spirit was left to guard over something well disturbed a tombstone as we do. Where is he? I see the I see the marker, but I do not see him. Hello? Oh, there he is. Oh! You're so freaking rude. I'm already over Very here. Very well. It shall be done. As you say. Oh. Missed! I shall do it. I'm trying to Very get the well. back stash in now, so you don't have to push it. Now we do battle! Damn you! Alistair is really over here trying to take these killing blows. Okay, so also, the reverence drop multiple They have the ability to drop multiple items. So the I've killed that reverent in that next area a few times now. Because I keep forgetting about something. 
So he dropped a juggernaut armor piece and then he dropped heavy plate mail. And this is the second time I've gotten to Venture Shield. So we'll take those and then we'll keep moving. All right, here's the point of no return with that mad hermit. Yep, saving. All right. I'm going to continue on like I have and we'll meet up at the beginning part of the ruins. Here we are at the ruins. Let's figure out what's actually going on around here. Oh wow. It kind of reminds me of the Tower of Ashal. That back at Ostigar. Just kind of like kind of the same shape and everything. Right, gather your party and venture forth. Yes, please. New area unlocked. Ruins upper level? Is that what that said? Yeah, ruins upper level. Oh, ooh, this is a small room. Okay, so it... It's just an open area? You know what? Just forget it. Whoa. Big open area, cathedral-like room, light streaming through, trees breaking into the building. It's beautiful. I wonder what this ruin used to be. Is it Devinter or Elven? She makes a good point. Like, Tevinter did have a presence here at some point. So is this Tevinter or is this Elven? I haven't seen much Tevinter architecture. I think, if any, Tevinter architecture. I don't- we haven't been to Tevinter Imperium at all. So it's hard to gauge what architecture and style they use. And it's hard to think that this would- well, no, it could be Elven. Could be. Has the same airs about it. Pile of bones over now, here. But... Can't well, talk look about now. them though, because werewolves. I shall do it. It is the gun. As you say. Good. Another down. Alright. Inspecting this pile of bones, a studded inscribed helmet. Must do to physical resistance. Since no one's really wearing a helmet. I'll take it with us though. I'll get money from the were from one werewolf, we get a lesser health polis from the other. I'm moving further down this makeshift staircase from trees. Tree roots. There's a circle in the center, illuminated by some light, with a pile of bones and a body. How lovely. A pile of filth by the northern door with deep mushroom in it. And there's a pile of rubble to the right of that. And less health poles in it. Okay, so. Best bet we can't go through this door yet. Oh. Well, call me freaking surprised. Hmm. While we could go through there, I want to go th through the other entrance first. There's a staircase over here. Oh, I found a secret door. Alright. The map has never lied to me yet. Inspecting this brick wall, it slides away. There are a pair of steps and a pile of bones. You know, I don't like this room. I always fear that there might be spiders somewhere, you know? You don't, you don't see the spiders. Or that there may be but it's just, you think, in the back of your mind, there could be spiders. I mean, where would they come from? Who knows? But there could be spiders. Alright, just a scout's bow and one of the pile of bones. Short bow, white wood, rapid aim, no, tier 4 type stuff. And then on the other pile of bones is a dark spawn war axe, but that can very well stay here. Are making our way back. We can take that path to the 
to the right. Down a few flights of stairs. Being cautious, because you never know when tripwire might show up. Oh, this is the lair of the werewolves. And the werewolves have barred the door from the other side. Alright, cool. So that path north was the right path. Making our way back up the steps. Alright, we can go through that northern door. I'm seeing spiderwebs, so there might be spiders. So we'll just be on our toes. Alright, we made a crossroads. It doesn't look like there's any rooms on either side. But we'll look at it nonetheless, because there might be treasure. Alright, so on the right path, there's a pile of rubble at the bottom of the staircase with frozen lightning. Wait, was that one of you? Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Alright, going to the left. There is nothing. Okay. Alright. I guess the only way is forward. Man, this is illuminated. Your heavens. Yeah, there's spiders. <laughs> I shall do it. As oh, and poisonous say, spiders. It shall be done. Very well. Ha! I got it. Alison, you get over done. there. It shall be done. As you say, it is begun. It shall be done. Oh, no, 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 you didn't have to go all the way over there. What are you going over there for? I shall do it. Get off. Right, we're gonna switch. I never liked this part. Knives. As you say. Oh cool, oh my gosh. Oh, there's another giant spider. Alright, cool. And if we just call all the spiders here, we won't have to worry about spiders later on. Alright, looting the spiders. Money. Because that spider was going to the market. Lesser elixir of grounding. Some more money. Alright, cool. And we've made it to the end of the hall. There's a path to the left and the right. The path to the right has a room, so we're going to go in here first. I don't know if we've killed all the spiders, though. So we'll be careful. Darmisu? A dagger. Um, try not to... Ah, oh, it's weaker than the dagger that I have. We'll take it with us, though. Oh man, so this is where they came from. By that hole in the wall, there's, in a pile of bones, there's elf fruit, a cocoon with some more elf fruit, another cocoon next to that with a lesser health polis, a cocoon a little further from that with deep mushroom, and a chest on the back wall with Finished. a helmet made of viridium. Me too, girl, I wish I could leave. Um. Making our way back to that main hall and then down that flight of steps. Okay, I was wondering if that was my stomach and I'm praying that that was my stomach because I do not like that sound. <laughs> do you want me to explore or not? Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks like that's the spot. That's the path we're going to have to go. So we're going to go back up the steps. <laughs> we're going to go back up the steps and we're going to look at the north room. I guess we got most of the spiders. So another one, another dagger made of red steel this time. In the what back now? wall, there's a chest with Dalish gloves that are inscribed. And there's a cocoon with a lesser warmth balm in it. Okay. So making our way back out to that main hall and then down the flight of steps that made that weird scary noise that's obviously trying to tell me to stop. Oh, heck no. Okay. Oh, good. Whoa. I don't know what these sounds are coming from. Maybe the walls are just really thin. I don't see anything. I mean, I guess I'd have to go into the actual room <laughs> first. But not stalling. And just jogging in. Look there! A cunning trap! There's a trap? Where's the trap? Oh, there's the trap. 
Is the trap a trap? I feel like I remember this. Is the trap a trap? It's a trap! Look there! A cunning trap! Oh gosh, there's a lot of traps. So, we did the werewolves lay these for- Okay, they laid it for that. I swear, I swear, I swear. Where now? Um, can you do us a favor and frost our weapons? Thank you. And then... Oh, poor Alistair's gonna get messed up. Oh, it's a dragon. I thought it was like a drake. Well, no, it's got wings. So, yeah, dragon. Yes. Sorry, Alistair. I shall do it. It shall be done. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, I'm getting mauled to death. Thanks, man. Nice. So the trap was laid. The traps were laid for the dragon that was here. Cool. All right. So the dragon dropped a heavy chainmail made of silver light. Silver light? Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of soldier corpses here. Unless you look for grounding. Night corpses. Scale boots made of rhenium. And a dwarf corpse. Dwarven large round shield. Ooh, there was a variety of thing, people here. Okay, there's a chest at the end of the hall with dark spawn dagger, which can very well stay here. And ooh, a dragon horde. Ooh, I like a good dragon horde. Potent health polis, a health polis, potent lyrium potion, greater nature salve, fellow din's reach. That's new. Oh, it's dragon thorn. Tier seven, two-handed longbow. Uh, let's. Get Liliana up here. Oh no, she doesn't have 34 dexterity. But it's got 9.60 to damage, a critical chance of 1.60%, armor penetration of 8.80, a range of 46, a strength modifier of 1, 2 to damage, and rapid aim. So that's rapid aim along with her spear thrower, but it doesn't have the 2.5 to armor penetration. This long bow is named after the Dalish god of the dead, Falodin. None can escape Falodin's reach when it is their time. Alright, so taking that, Falodin's... Oh man, the thing was in the way, I couldn't read it. Alright, so a long bow, a silver medallion, emerald, topaz, malachith, flor spar, the gemstone, and... Oh, okay, so we won't be taking that with us. We'll be getting rid of some things. But 19 Sovereign, 44 Silver, and 25 Copper. That's what I call a Dragon Sword. Alright, I'm gonna move some things around and then take that floor spur with us. Okay, and then there's a chest the top. on the left side with... Darmasan? I'm probably butchering these words. I am utterly sorry. Oh, it's the same kind of knife that I have. And that's weaker. I will take it with us for now. Because after this, I'm going to try and go back and whoa, and sell everything. Is this oil? Or is this water? I don't know what that is, but we're heading to the lower level now. Lower ruins. New area unlocked. Mm-hmm. That looks like a ghost. If I'd ever seen one. I don't know what she said, but she said a lot of Dalish. Elven. Part of the Elven language. I didn't understand any of it. Do not let them overwhelm us. Oh, cool. Skeletons again. It is begun. 
Both are not spiders. Watch out! All right, we are done. Looks like there's two in that room to the right. Oh, well, temporarily we are done. All right, so that's almost thirty silver. Uh -oh. Oh, here we go. Very well. Very well. It shall be done. I shall do it. It shall be done. I shall do it. It shall be done. I shall do it. Nice. Alright, I guess we're starting in this room first. There's a pile of bones with some fire arrows. Finish. And then a chest next to it with a Dalish longbow. I'm gonna give those arrows to Liliana immediately so we can clear some space. And then there's this fanged skeleton with some money. Another fanged skeleton with a lesser nature salve. A pile of bones with a Dharma sun. Silverite, okay. Hmm. I like that plus 10 versus dark spot. Well, that's a rune. I can move that. But that plus 6 damage versus beasts is nice. So we'll keep this for right now. Devouring skeleton with some money. Uh, nothing else is sparkling in the room, so we can keep moving. Further into the ruins. Up, oh, I said there may not be any more spiders, but look at that giant spider hole. Look at it. Giant hole where spiders can come in and out of. Yeah, I, 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 yep, yep. It's made of nightmares. Mm-hmm. Shall be done. Very Someone well. save me. I shall do it. I shall do it. Very well. Where do you think spider come from? Everyone too. I shall do it. You're not gonna drop anything? Well, that's stupid. Alright, there's bones everywhere. I'm getting caught in spider traps. That's fun. Alright, moving further down the hall. Oh, there's that ghost again. Now it's a child? Or was it a child before? Ghostly boy. Mummy? Mummy no matter, son. Um, are you looking for your mother? I can help you find her. Mummy! 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 Calm down. What are you seeing? Uh-oh. And he ran off. And there's skeletons. Alright, cool. Interesting. There's an elven boy around here. And a ton of skeletons for some kind of reason. Someone help. Yeah. None of you have anything on you? Wow, that's kind of sad. Okay, but there's a broken crate in the corner with 25 silver and 25 copper in it. Oh, here we go. On one of the shambling corpses, there's a lesser health polis, and then one has a silver ring. We have three paths. Oop. The door to the right has a sarcophagus. I mean, if anything has ever taught me anything, it's to not mess with the sarcophagus. <laughs> uh, but interacting with it anyway... We find a fancy scroll and a tablet. 
a carved elven tablet, and we start the quest, the elven ritual. Alright, so we have to keep our eye out for that. And then heading to the door to the left, we find a charred corpse and a chest I with a small metal round shield. I am in it. done! Hmm. Alright, so I'm about to say something fishy's going around here, but since we got the quest, the elven ritual, then yes, something fishy is going around here. Alright, going to the opening the door to the north. The game saves. Oh, good, more spider nest openings. Great, great, great. Alright, we hit crossroads. There's a path to the left and a path to the right. On the right, there's some enemies over there. I wish I could highlight them, my gosh. Alright, we're gonna go left to deal with those enemies first. Careful! I think they've seen us! Oh, more skeletons. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> These nice. things can have unusual oh, power. Not nice. Be wary. It is begun. I think we hold our ground. We don't look any of them moving. Okay, and before the last one even falls, we found frozen lightning on one of them, money on another, oh we hit another fork. Alright, so going to that room the first skeletons crawled out of, we find a broken crate with some elf root in it, and oh joy! A phylactery. Ooh. Okay, this is different. This elaborate artifact has a gem-like structure that contains what appears to be blood. Fresh and liquid. Even after all this time, this gem is vibrating slightly. Well, we can show the artifact to our other party members. We have little knowledge of the magic used by the Elbs of our Lathan's time. The Magisters of Tevinter were more interested in subjugating the Elves than recording their history. As it is, I would hazard a guess that the object you're holding is a form of phylactery, meant to hold living essence, perhaps even a spirit of some kind. This appears to be a phylactery of some kind, the essence of a mage kept magically preserved. If that were all it is, however, I would be surprised. Is that blood in there? Whose, I wonder? You'd think it would be all dried up after so long. There must be magic involved. What would you like to do? Hmm. Well, we can touch the gem. The gem is warm to the touch, and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, and images, and memories from a life not your own. The presence in the gem is at first alarmed when it senses your touch. It recoils in fear, and the images that rush your mind are ones of imprisonment and loneliness. Um, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to frighten you. The presence calms and then is racked with indecision. Rather than have you leave, it begs you to stay. More images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the, the life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name it can remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage, in a glittering silver armor. But this was long ago, remembered as if through a fog. You were once a mage? You see images again of the elf in silver armor. One who is a mage and a warrior both. 
The name of the order he belongs to translates in your mind to Arcane Warrior. What is an Arcane Warrior exactly? The presence can remember little. You see images of an order of elven mages who channel their spells into their strength, fighting, in arcane war fighting as arcane warriors to defend their charges. The presence could give you what knowledge remains within it of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no mage yourself, but you could teach some knowledge to those who are. This is all the presence has left to offer any longer, the last of its memories. In return, the presence asks only one thing of you, Oblivion. Um, how would I give you the release you seek? The images are faint and uncertain. You see an altar, and the life gem placed upon that altar. The life gem then vibrates and explodes, destroying the presence within forever. The yearning that follows this image is keen and almost hopeless. Then, yes. I will try to help you. The images become tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows the life gem must be placed on it. I put the stone altar with the gem. As the life gem nears the altar, the presence becomes overcome with emotion. Would its endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you now. So at this point, you can either say no, I do not wish to know, or yes, give me your memories. Yes, give me your memories. The memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the arcane warriors once possessed. Now the presence asks that you keep your promise. Release it from its eternal prison. You can be rude and mean and say sorry. It might be useful later. And say nah and just toss the artifact to the side. Or you can keep your promise and place the artifact on the stone altar. The last images from the presence are ones of joy. Oblivion will be a welcome relief. New quest, the arcane warrior. All right. And with that, we gain the Arcane Warrior specialization, if you had not gotten it before. It is retroactively gotten, so once you got it in one playthrough, then you'll have it in all of your playthroughs thereafter. Because Wen's an Arcane Warrior, so I really didn't need to get the memories from him, but, you know, best be thorough. Oh, that was really weird. Okay, so we still have that and then the Mage's Treasure. I thought it was going to be one of those glass plactories. I was really frightened for a second. Okay. So, making our way back to this crossroads. I don't exactly know where everything is going. But following the road, following this path nonetheless... That looks like a lot of enemies. Just a ton, okay? Yes, right away. Come and get it. Make a oh, of us. Oh, shoot. Those people out of that room over there didn't walk out because the door's still closed. So we're just gonna check out these rooms first. There's a broken crate in the room to the left. And you immediately come down those stairs and there's a what? chest with a scout iron bark belt. We'll now. leave that there though. Ooh, my gosh. 
Okay, Alsh has got a level up. We'll just deal with that for a second. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave that bow here. I wanna make sure I can carry everything in my pockets when I leave. Another skeleton. Uh, heading down the steps. There's a pile of sacks. With a small dark spawn shield. I don't know how there's dark spawn shields up oh, everywhere, but with dark spawn equipment. But we're just gonna leave it. But there's the famed glass phylactery. There is no obvious order to this jumble of miscellanea, but one item stands out a small glass phylactery. The area is unnaturally cold. Dark shapes swirl around the slip of paper within the vial. Take the vial. The glass fractures at your touch. As you say, it should be done. It is begun. Enough! As you say, I shall do it. It is begun. Here! Right. Oh no, we're good. I was about to go and backstab him and everything. Let's see, you're not gonna drop anything? Alright, so we got the greater health polis, the greater ice salve, and a scrap of paper. Alright, and that should update the codex entry. When I say update the codex entry when it comes to them, the reverence that we've been fighting, it's the black vials codex entry, because it's not a quest. And you can track your progress by oh. You can track your progress from the wiki so the wiki will tell like they're named each and every one of them and each specific one drops a specific piece of paper and that's how you can track it and that's how i know that i don't have the fifth yet i have the sixth i have the third i don't have yeah i don't have the second oh I know where the second is. I remember where the second is. We have to go back to Orzmar for that one. So we'll do that in another episode. But at least now I know. I forgot the one there. How oh, foolish of me. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Right. This room. Heading to the closed door. Oh no, it's saving. <laughs> it's a trap. Look there. There's a trap. Cunning trap. Oh my gosh, there's so many traps! Alright, don't mind me, I'm just gonna get on all these traps. Skeleton archers. Did I disarm that trap? Very well. And then a yellow bar still to mark her. Okay, I guess I got that one. That's your spirit bomb. Uh, none of these skeletons have anything. Nothing along the right side wall. This lieutenant skeleton archer has a health bolus. Thank you. Lesser health pulse on another skeleton archer. An adventurer's corpse has an adventurer's journal. Expecting that. This book has a particular mustiness that derives not from old paper, but from a decomposed... Oh, thank you. I totally wanted to know that. Unbound. New quest. A knight corpse with a steel longsword, but we will leave that on him for now. And Dolphinu. Uh, we'll leave that, unfortunately. Finished. I don't know how much I have in my inventory. 116. Okay, so we're getting really up there with the stuff. I don't like the sparkly things. I want to pick it up, but I can't. Alright, let's look at that quest. Oh, Unbound is in Denerim. Interesting. Something is working behind the scenes in Ferelden. The notes you have acquired from the 
dead or terrified adventurers point to an ancient evil or at least an ancient man telling stories of ancient evil. You have cause to speak with Wilhelm Madon, who lives somewhere in Denerim. All right, we'll have to keep our eye on that. Oh, and I guess this just wraps around. It's now we're at the bottom of the staircase that we would have traveled. But we didn't. But we couldn't. Okay, so I kind of want to go into this room, but this looks like final room territory. So backtracking all the way to that point where we hit that first junction, which was the hallway or the room. Okay, here we go. Should have went to this door first. Whoa. Okay, this is weird. All right, so we enter into this large room, which is mostly intact, if I do say so myself. The windows aren't broken. They're still letting a lot of light through, but there's a tree. Tree roots reach through. There's a fountain in the middle. All right, so we've got this. There's Impossible. a locked metal door that requires a key. An altar. Okay, so this is a part of the quest, the elven ritual. So in order to unlock that metal door, we need to take part in the ritual. So starting from the fountain. Oh, and also if you didn't interact with that sarcophagus and get that tablet, then you won't be able to take part and you won't be able to do anything. So if you don't have that, get that and then come back to this room. The water in the pool appears cool and clean. It is refreshed from some internal source, perhaps magically. Submerged in the water is what appears to be a small earthen jug. Okay, so take the earthen jug. You take the jug out of the pool. It is made of clay and appears to be none the worse for wear for its long submersion. Okay, so we can fill the earthen jug with water. You dip the jug into the water until it fills up completely. And then we can leave the pool. Now with the earthen jug, we walk over to the altar. The altar is plain and covered in a thin layer of dust. Numerous carvings cover its surface, but most are eroded beyond legibility. Place the filled earthen jug on top of the altar. The filled earthen jug the filled jug is now on top of the altar. And at this moment, we can now kneel before the altar and pray. You kneel before the altar and pray, touching your forehead to the ground as depicted on the tablet. You feel a sense of rightness and approval around you. Yes, examine the earthen jug on the altar. The earthen jug sits on the altar and is currently filled with water. And then we can take a single sip from the water of the earthen jug. You carefully take a sip from the water in the jug and then replace it on the altar. Next, we can take the earthen jug. You take the earthen jug, nothing is on the altar now. And then we can leave the altar. Now, with the earthen jug in our inventory that has is down one single sip we can return back to the fountain the water in the pool appears cool and clean it is refreshed from some eternal source perhaps magically we can dump the water in the jug back into the pool slowly you spill the water out of the jug back into the pool as soon as the jug is empty, it suddenly shatters. The pieces fall on the floor. I didn't catch that last part fast enough. So during that, if you make a, a mistake during the sequence, two shades will attack the party. But the jug will not break, and the warden can try again. 
You'll know it's been completed carefully when shades don't show up and that the jug breaks at the end. Oh, and I meant to say... If you attempt to do that, I know you said you won't be able to do that. What I mean is, you won't be able to do it as in you won't be able to pray at the altar because you need the tablet in order to know how to pray at the altar. And two shades will attack you then, as well. Okay, so the doors have opened to this fast room. Up, oh, it's saving. <laughs> also, it's not a bug, but if you complete the ritual, or attempt the ritual, or you attempt incorrectly with the tablet, or, I mean, without the tablet in your inventory, the quest may complete itself. But it'll be logged as failed, so these metal doors will remain closed. So in order to have it complete right, and not as a failure in the codex, you have to complete it right the first time. I hope that made sense. Okay, so there's a lot of sarcophagi around here. A foggy floor. A ghost woman. Alright, inspecting the sarcophagi. Split male boots. Alright, well... Take log of what's here and then pick up whatever we want later on. Some fire arrows, we'll give those to Liliana. These things can have unusual powers. Be wary. Okay, some skeleton archers. As you say. Very well. I shall do it. It shall be done. Okay, checking out this last sarcophagi. Uh, it's got leather reinforced armor, so we'll leave it be. And that was the other path that we could have taken. Going up the steps, there's a shade. Do you need help? Are you lost here, spirit? We must not exhaust our supplies. Oh, okay, she's fighting me. As you say, we must have victory. Now we do battle. <laughs> And there's another shade. I'm really on to get a level up. Are you okay, Liliana? Alright, dealing with Liliana's level up first, though. Okay, and for our effort, there's a pile of bones with Dalish boots that are inscribed, and then in the elven burial chamber, we find the Juggernaut plate armor. And this is quest completed. Nope, wrong button. Okay, so we completed the mage's treasure. Cool. Alright. <laughs> okay, making our way out of this room. I'll take the split nail boots with us. Okay, so we're gonna be making our way out of this room, down, back to where we were, by the other big metal door that looked really important. Okay, making our way back to the other big metal door that looks really important. We can just kick the doors down after the game saves itself. I think this other large chamber. Mm -hmm. well. I think it was kicking the door down that it really tipped them off. The oh. Very well. As you say. Alright, looting all the corpses, less rice salve. And some money. Wow. 
I mean, some trees have broken through, but it's still beautiful. Oh, okay, so... Ooh. This is odd. Oh, and this is unfortunate. Well, I guess we're locked into battle now. There's no getting around it. Oh no, there's some glyphs on the floor and everything. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Ready! Where... where did he go? Oh, was that him over there? Oh gosh. Okay, keeping our wits about us. Direct me. Okay, you don't have to frost our weapons anymore. Combat magic. No, because then she'll be fatigued. You need help? Alright, this is why we have health pulses. <laughs> this is why we have health pulses. Yes, mark him for freaking death. Don't go over there. Gosh, we're being slowed. Okay, so this is something else is going on. We need to retreat a little bit. He's just gonna keep moving around the room. I actually can't get in there. Okay, never mind. I shall do it. Oh, it's so upsetting. He trapped him. Oh. Cool. All right, that does that. That is that. All right, in this pile of racks that he left behind, just silverlight chainmail. We don't have any room. All right, making room. Okay, making room. Taking that armor. Hmm. There's this orb, and then these glyphs that look like the same puzzle that was on the floor in that cellar when we went to Homley. Homley. Oh, okay, so the pile of rags has more stuff. <laughs> okay. So we get knockback bolts, which are for a crossbow, but we don't have a crossbow. No one has a crossbow. Ashen gloves for mages only. Cold damage plus 20%. Oh, wait. Let's go down the list. Inscribed lever tier, tier 6. Uh, armor of 1.33. Fatigue of 1.13%. Plus 20% to cold damage. Over, over. There we go. So it's the same as gloves that she has now. But it's 20% in a different area. No marker's mark is visible. Oh, no maker's mark is visible, though the craftsmanship that went into the ancient styling of these gloves is obvious. The fingers are singed, but colder than the coals of a dead fire. Alright, we'll take them with us. Heavy chainmail boots, ruby, topaz, oh, you don't have ruby. Topaz, garnet, don't have a garnet. Greenstone, we need that ruby and the garnet though, because I think we can give those to the liaison for the dwarves. So we'll need those. Okay, I don't actually know if you can do anything with these. I think they're just stuff on the ground. Which is kind of unfortunate. Because this room is grandiose. At best. And gross. Grandiose and gross. Alright, we got two paths. A path to the left and a path to the right. Going to the left first brings us to a room with a few sarcophagi in them. Checking them out. We find the legacy white shear. Oh my gosh, we're bringing that with us. And a piece of ancient elven armor. Smelling faintly of cut grass, the plates have been fashioned or possibly grown in the shape of winding vines and leaves, when equipped in a set of an ancient elven helm, gloves, and boots, the character gains a bonus to defense. Oh my gosh, I could have gotten that helmet. 
but it's a little too late to regret one's decisions. Taking it with us, we get the codex entry for ancient elven armor. But since I we'll never get the helmet, I am it done. really just is useless to us. I mean, not useless, it's got good perks to it. On its own. Uh, we'll leave those. And there's a chest in the room beyond that with a cold rune in it, and we'll leave the split milk. Task gloves. is finished. Breaks my heart to leave all this stuff. I wish my companions could carry some stuff as well. Alright, there's more enemies up ahead. I shall do it. As you see. I never like this part. I shall do it. As you say. That's a lot of blood. Alright, I was about to say, are you gonna drop anything? So he's got some money. The skeleton that we bashed up against the wall has a lesser elixir of grounding. We're gonna sell those elixirs because I barely use them. And we get to this large open room with the small red metal round shield that we'll leave for now. A soldier corpse with some flower sphere on him. Another sarcophagus with a greater health polis, a greater lyrium potion, and a diamond in it. How much inventory space do I have? We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it. If I end up coming back, then I'll come back and I'll get it. But we can exit to the lair of the werewolves. In that puddle. Is the puddle the lair to the werewolves? Do we have to swim? Oh heavens. <laughs> New area unlocked. Area of the werewolves. And there's a lot of devouring corpses in here. Oh no, more corpse skull. And there's a werewolf beyond the door who's just so eager to get to us. Okay, but I'm going to leave it here for today. In our next episode, we're going to delve into the lair of the werewolves after we've done swam here from the lower ruins. And we'll deal with the werewolves, really. I guess they've really given us no choice unless they are willing to parlay, which I'm really hoping for. Alright, until next time.